Good afternoon, my name is Matt Giese. I'm the Boeing Company's F-15 Chief Pilot and TX Experimental Test Pilot. I'm here at the Paris Air Show standing in front of the full-scale model of the TX aircraft that we're putting on demonstration today. And I'd like to walk you around the aircraft and show you some of the key design features that went into uh, the, the thought process of designing this aircraft specifically for the Air Force customer. So we'll start where it's really important. When you have a clean sheet design aircraft, you have the luxury of uh, kind of starting where you want. And so we chose to start with the most important asset, which is the human pilot sitting in the cockpit. So we designed the cockpit and we built the aircraft around the cockpit uh, for all of the additional features of the aircraft. So as you uh, kind of walk back, you can see some of the key design features, the first of which are the leading edge uh, strakes that come forward on the aircraft and that allows for at very high angles of attack to put the proper amount of airflow at the inlets uh, for stability. Uh, as you come further back, you see the Lex uh, fences on top of the aircraft that are sticking up vertically, and those allow for the uh, correct amount of airflow and the proper airflow to, to flow over the airplane at high angles of attack and makes it more stable and less, uh, less uh, departure susceptible. Some of the key things about the TX aircraft that allowed us uh, to offer a very affordable product to the, to the uh, Air Force as a customer is a reuse of items. Some of those items are uh, the, the landing gear that you can see here. These are uh, basically F-16 landing gear. The only difference is the, the nose gear folds forward instead of aft, and we added that for a, a safety feature. And I'll show you a few more examples of reuse here in just a moment. We continue around the side of the airplane. Uh, you can see that we have uh, some leading edge slats. These are two position slats. They retract uh, on, at cruise and allow for less drag of the aircraft. And then at high angles of attack and slow speed, they will extend out and they uh, help reduce the departure susceptibility of the aircraft. Continue around on the back side of the, of the wing. Um, you notice it's a relatively um, kind of uh, low, low profile, but it's a high aspect ratio wing, and that gives us a good instantaneous G capability. And you can see there's a little bit of twist to the wing there. That, that was an intentional design uh, to help for the performance of the aircraft as well. Uh, the back end of the wing has what's called a flapperon, which is a combined flight control surface that's both uh, flaps at slow speed for landing, and it's an aileron for differential roll uh, of the aircraft, which is a, a, a very key aspect of this training mission. Continuing on aft, you see that there's uh, a stabilator for roll control on the back of the aircraft. A uh, key feature of these are they're interchangeable for both sides of the jet, which really helps out the, the maintainability of the aircraft. Uh, the split tail design for both performance as well as stability and maneuverability, and then the two uh, twin rudders, uh, which uh, tow out as a speed brake and uh, help for the uh, roll control of the aircraft. Coming around to the back, we have the uh, GE F404 engine. It's a uh, tried and true to engine uh, that's been on uh, both Boeing and Saab aircraft in the past. We have a nice history with the, with the uh, engine. It's uh, reliable, it's safe, it's got really good performance. Uh, and the way it's designed and installed in the aircraft allows it for an easy, quick engine change. So from a maintenance perspective, it's really good for the, the maintenance crews. Uh, what you can't see on the top of the airplane right now, there's a, uh, a hole that is a receptacle basically for air refueling. Should that be, become a requirement for the Air Force customer? Uh, and as you can see, this is a uh, pretty much an exact replica of uh, November 381TX, which is uh, affectionately known as a TX1 to the Boeing company. Some of the other uh, key things about this airplane that make it such a unique uh, product and that I think allowed us uh, to win this competition uh, are uh, here on the wall. You can see the... Uh, the unique uh, stadium seating design so the instructor in the rear cockpit can see what the student in the front cockpit is doing. The visibility looking forward all the way down through the flare and landing is exceptional. And then what's really unique is the instructor in the rear cockpit um, has the ability to press a button and replicate the displays from the front cockpit so he can assess what he or she is doing in the front uh, and, and make real-time corrections. Some other key features of the TX include, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, is designed for maintainability. So you can see here that a lot of the panels, uh, in fact, all the panels drop forward and they're basically chest high. They allow for ease uh, of removal and replacement of LRUs. And then uh, the side opening canopy allows for easy uh, removal and replacement of the seats, which is a, another key feature that reduces the, the, main, the maintenance requirements and, uh, and makes uh, swapping out seats a, a, a quick um, uh, event, basically, for the crews. Overall, it's a uh, just incredibly performing aircraft. We're really excited about uh, how we've been able to offer it at a very affordable price. Um, and we've uh, been able to do that because of some unique Boeing uh, manufacturing and uh, technologies that we use to both design uh, and build this aircraft. Um, it, it goes together in a very short order. It goes together very easy. 
Um, and uh, like I said, the maintainers love it. Uh, super high wing, so you know maintenance guys can walk underneath it. Air crews can inspect the aircraft quite nicely. Um, and uh, as someone who's flown the aircraft uh, quite recently, uh, I can say that I was very surprised uh, with my first flight in this on how well it performs. Uh, I'm just really excited about handing these uh, jets over to the U.S. Air Force.